Here's my 1995 Elger Savoy, or Savoy, however the heck you say that. I got this a little over a year ago from a friend of mine when they were remodeling their bathroom. Never bothered filming it, because compared to everything else that I have, it's not particularly interesting. Although it is a great example of an early water saving toilet. Big old 1.6 rating there. No logo to be seen. I'm not sure if it's worn off or if it just never came with one. And you can see this ridiculous contraption. Get a good look at it. Suffered the same fate as pretty much every single other one of those that's ever existed. Where somebody just cut cut it open so that it would flush better. I think the idea behind these was to keep the water in the tank still at a high level, but use less by catching it. I guess sort of preventing it, kind of like a dam. Because obviously if you just lower the water level, it's not going to flush very well. But yeah, these are junk, so I totally understand why someone did that. It's also got a super weird looking trapway. And these are relatively uncommon from what I've seen. Usually the traps look a little more normal. I'm not sure if they were going through like an experimental phase or what. Pretty generic looking base. Not too bad. Curious how it would do performance wise. Alright, just filled up. This has a massive water spot in the bowl, which I actually really like. Let's see a normal flush. Flapper stays open a really long time. Nearly did a double flush. And there's a left tank fill and dry wash cloth. Alright, tank's filled up. Washcloth is still pretty dry, so I'm betting it'll clog, but you never know. Sounded like a urinal flush. Disappointing, but not surprising. Let's see if we get a different result now that it's all soaked. Nice. There it is. Looked like it struggled just the tiniest bit, but no surprise. Okay, just for the heck of it, I got it set up for a dirt test. See how the bowl rinse does and see how it does clearing the bowl. Interesting how it pulls such a long siphon. 
That is surprising, though. Obviously missed some stuff there. And, oh, the front's a little gross. But overall, not the worst that I've seen. 10 out of 10 clearing the bowl. There's not a single speck of dirt left in there. Not bad, but I am very curious how it would do if this thing was still intact. Probably much worse. Maybe if I can find one of these to replace it with, then I can do some performance tests on how it would be originally. Yeah, not too bad. Hope you all enjoy. Let me know what you think.